I booked the cheapest room at the Fountain Blue. Let's see if it's worth it. Let's check out this whole resort and let's see if you should stay here on your next trip to Vegas. Let's get started. You're amazing. Right, Thank you so much. Gabriella, right? That's right. Thank you. My plan for this video is to spend 24 hours at the Fountain Blue and not leave this property. I will stay here the whole time to see if it's worth it for you to stay here on your next trip to Las Vegas. First things first, let's get a room tour, see how the room is, then we're gonna go downstairs, get something to eat, explore the whole resort, see how the gambling is, see how the property is, and just get an overview of the Fountain Blue. So this room is the Blue King Room. Total came to 201.82. So the room itself was $133. Taxes and service charge is $68.82. Lodging tax is $17.80. Resort fee came to $51.02. The resort fee includes standard Wi-Fi, self-parking, local calls, and fitness center access. This room is 488 square feet. The TV just keeps repeating this jingle. It's getting in my head. It's So that's for the lighting around the vanity. Turn it on, you got your separate toilet over here. Huge shower. You got your robe, you got double sinks over here. I like over here at the bed, you can turn everything on off right here. They got some plugs, USB-C, USB-A, and a regular outlet. You got your mini bar right over here. You got your own personal fridge here fridge and then over here you got some glasses stuff if you need a drink seating table here and then you have this interesting thing right over here it says enjoy you can scan for all kinds of information on the hotel they got Wi-Fi fitness entertainment in-room dining a little bow tie fits the theme here's a fun game how many bow ties are in this whole property <laughs> the bed oh Damn, that's comfortable. Oh, I'm just like sinking in this. Oh, that's nice. They got the robe in here, if you need a robe. You got some slippers. You're safe. And a steamer. Overall, first impressions, beautiful room. You can't go wrong with this. Yes, it is a little more expensive than the average Vegas room. If you sign up for a rewards card, you do save 30%. Well, I did. I don't know if it will still be available by the time you watch this video, but definitely check it out. And obviously if you play, you'll get discounts. I'm hungry, less talking, more eating. Die starts tomorrow. Let's go eat. Nice hauls. I wanted to test the theory coming to the Fountain Blue. I took the monorail from the Strip to Sahara and walked over. It was an exact 12 minute walk. I wanted to just see if that was faster than getting in a Uber or bus or taxi and coming here. So the pool is not yet open. I think they said around March it'll be open, but this is an idea of what it looks like over here. I forgot to mention, they let me check in at 11 a.m. That was really nice. Up here on the second floor, you got a nice view of the casino. So walking around through the casino, I was looking at the table minimums. They're all like $25 up to $100 on the regular floor. High limit, I didn't even check. Now third floor is closed. They got the pool and the nightclub up there, but we want food. Let's go to the food. I think I'm gonna play a little bit of everything later. I'm gonna play all table games and a few slots to see the vibe of the casino. Here on the second floor, this area is called the promenade. It's basically their food hall. So all different options to eat. So what I'm gonna do is get one thing from each place and see how it is up here. And then maybe later tonight, we'll, go, we'll do a restaurant downstairs. The first place I went to was Miami Slice. I got the margarita pizza. Total for the margarita pizza came to 867. This is the carne asada taco from Roadside Taco and it came to $8.67. Bacon, egg and cheese, everything bagel from El Bagel and the total came to $15.17. This is from Capone's, it's the classic burger and the total came to 
And I got the Italian sandwich at Nona for $18.42. The most expensive, but it looks delicious. Mm. But everything was way better than I thought it would be. Very good food hall to check out. So we're just gonna keep on moving around with this video. So next up, let's go play some slots and tables and hopefully we can win some money. All I have left of that is just the half the Italian sandwich. So a little snack for later. So let's go win some money now. I just put $200 in this Panda Magic machine right over here. I cashed out $1,400. I'm up. $1,200 from this machine. First machine playing Fountain Blue. Wow. Let's do uh, $10 today. Oh, a 10! What? I change it at the perfect time. Thank you. You too. Jeez, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Try one more time. Come on, 18. 17. That will do it. Oh, he said 18. <laughs> I'll take that one. Either one works. Let's see, we'll try that again then. Why not? Okay. That's for, that's for you. Thank you. Hit it, keep going. If I lose it, I'm done. Up 100, I'm good. I got lucky. 17 this time again, maybe. Maybe, who knows? No, maybe not. 16? 16. Okay, that's good, I guess. That's for you. Thank you. You know what? I think I'm good. Are you going to it up? Yeah. Alright. I'll color up. Just bring it all here. Fuck that up. He's colored up. I know. Thank you. There you go. Take care. Thank oh, you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. One lucky souvenir chip. We have maybe one. <laughs> <laughs> maybe two. We'll see how it goes. Maybe. Alright. Good luck. Thank you. Now the question is, keep going or not? I mean, you've won every hand, you might as well, right? <laughs> but that's a, that's a perfect record. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin that. Okay, we'll go one more one up. Okay. Got a chance here. Look at that. Look at this. Okay. We keep we keep going until I lose. <laughs> until I lose one hand. You gotta go. There we go. Keep going. Keep going until one. Ooh. I must hit on this, huh? I will. 21? Okay. You tricked us. You were practicing. Oh, man. <laughs> Just lucky today. Okay, we keep going until one loss. All right, come on. Four in a row. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this game's so easy. Oh. The just, uh, just paying everyone today. That's it. That's all we do. <laughs> pay, pay. Uh-oh. I gotta hit that, right? Nine. That's, yeah. 21. My yeah. goodness. It's too easy. It's too so easy. easy. <laughs> 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 right, what, how many did I win in a row there? Five. Five. Gosh, okay, that's pretty lucky. Yeah. Uh, Alright. This will be a record. <laughs> World record. Yeah, right. Okay. Get lucky again. Ah, okay. That's okay. That's I fun. Mean, I can't complain at all. Eight. Thank you so much. Take care. I just won another $125 on blackjack. Five in a row. This is insane. I think we're gonna take a break, get ready for dinner. Yeah, it's almost dinner time. So we're gonna go to Mother Wolf here tonight. It's an Italian restaurant. Looks good. So right here is the tavern. It's the sports book and bar. Let's go take a look. So this is what it looks like in here. I'll tell you this, the slots are definitely not tight over here. They've been paying. Coincidence? I don't know. Gamble responsibly, your choice to play or not. But more importantly, it's food time. Let's go eat. I got my dollar chip to take home. 
gonna meet up with a friend you may know. So that was Tiesto that just walked by. Cool. All right. Hi, Joe. More importantly, I'm happy to see you. <laughs> yeah, you too. Let's go. Welcome back. Let's go find our restaurant. For sure. Pork cheese pizza, oxtail meatballs, and this margarita pizza. This one's even thinner. Rigatoni carbonara. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Just finished up the meal here at Mother Wolf. Joe, what'd you think? I said that the place should be called Taste Buds because <laughs> it just really, you know, activates your taste buds. I love it. Every, it's a very good restaurant. Everything here had definitely very unique flavors. It's not your typical Italian restaurant. You gotta, you gotta check it out. Everything we had was delicious. Highly recommend coming to check out Mother Wolf if you're at Fountain Blue. After earlier today, I ate everything at the food court, at the food hall. I didn't think I was gonna eat that much, but I ate way more than I probably should have. Now there's no one here. So this piece of art over here moves when you move. Well, it's supposed to. <laughs> okay, I don't know. So just hanging out over here at the, what is it called, the blue bar, and we got more friends with us to join us. What's up, guys? Hello. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, chat. <laughs> Just hanging out here, it's always good to see them. Nice vibe over here. I feel like everyone in this whole casino is hanging out right here now. <laughs> cool place, huh Joe? Yeah, I like it. Good day so far, winning money, good food, good people. That's what Vegas is about. <sighs> Even this sphere doesn't want to wake up this morning. Oh man, this bed is one of the most comfortable beds I've ever stayed in in a Las Vegas hotel. It's so comfortable. You just kind of just sink in it. It's like you're floating. I love it. I uh, just wanted to wrap up my thoughts on the Fountain Blue. Overall, it's a great resort. I actually like the calm vibe in here, but I'm sure it's gonna pick up. As the months go on, it's gonna get busier and busier. They just opened up. Some things are not even fully open yet, so give them time. Very open concept to it. It's not too difficult to find your way around. It's not like a maze like some of the casinos. It's pretty straightforward where you gotta go. I made a couple laps around, figured out where I was going. It is a big property, but it's pretty simple. Very modern clean, luxurious hotel. I'm pretty sure the first thought that comes to most people's mind is how far it is down on the strip. I mean, yes, it is a little far down, but you can walk to some casinos around this area. The, the Westgate right over there, you got Circus Circus, you got Resorts World. The Wynn is a little bit of a walk, but not too bad, even the Strat. So there are some options. This will be a resort where you really don't have to leave. It does have everything you want here. I'm sure once the pool is open, it's gonna be beautiful. A lot of fancy restaurants. The most casual is upstairs in the on the second floor is the promenade, which you saw yesterday. I love the layout of the room, enough outlets, good space. The shower is beautiful, huge shower. Everything here was perfect. I love how simple the touchscreen panels are. It's not cheap staying here. The rooms are a little bit expensive. The food is pretty expensive, but that's what you're getting for an upscale, great experience at a resort.